quick housing market update for you for this week. Uh, by the way, shout out to Las Vegas for hosting an incredible Super Bowl. Uh, it's actually the most watched Super Bowl ever, the most uh, bet on Super Bowl ever, the most uh, economically impactful Super Bowl ever. So Vegas knocked it out of the park. And yes, all of you guys know I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm not a Raider fan. Sorry to disappoint you, Las Vegas resident, uh, but super excited about the Chiefs back-to-back -back Super Bowl. But let's get to real estate. So the hot topic is mortgage rates. A lot of people have been hoping for improved mortgage rates, uh, but the economic data came out and it actually was good news for the economy, but it showed that uh, things are going great. Uh, inflation has not decreased at the uh, rate that they anticipated. They're hoping the rate of inflation would be decreasing uh, deceleration of inflation as well as a job report that showed about twice as many U.S. jobs created than anticipated. So the market reacted and rates actually went up after being pretty steady for the last few months. Rates right now are an average of 6.77% nationwide. It was about 6.3% this time last year. But let me clarify what that number is because people get very confused when they get their mortgage rate from a lender and it's higher than that. When Fannie Mac and Freddie, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac get this data, they're getting it from loans from thousands of lenders across the country that are being sent to them for conventional financing. And what they're basing that 6.77% on is 20% down payment borrowers. So it's an 80-20 loan to value with excellent credit. Now, we know that a lot of buyers buying homes across the country don't put 20% down or don't have excellent credit or the combination of both. Therefore, that's why many, many borrowers are seeing interest rates beyond 7%. Uh, but 6.77 is the average for the 20% down payment borrower with excellent credit. Uh, as far as home prices are concerned, and by the way, moving into the election, I mean, the expectation is still uh, opt optimistic that we'll see rates improve as the inflation uh, is decelerated uh, a little bit, hopefully, in the coming months and we'll see rates get better. There's also many people who speculate that we'll see economically incentivized decisions to help make that happen as we get closer to uh, an election because obviously you know, people wanna have everybody happy at that time uh, when it comes to voting. So we'll see what that shakes out to be. Uh, so home prices are actually, so first of all, home sales, February looks like we're gonna end the month. We're halfway through the month right now. If you look at what's closed so far and what's pending for the rest of the month, assuming that 80% of what's pending will actually close on time. We're going to end up finishing February pretty much the same as we finished February last year with around 1,700 to 1,750 single family closings in Las Vegas for February. Home prices for the last 30 days have a median of about 445. That's still up about 5% year over year when it was 425 February last year. So that's what I have for you today. We'll have to keep an eye on mortgage rates. Uh, keep in mind though, guys, when rates improve, it's going to be nuts. There's going to be tons of buyers jump off the fence. More homes hit the market because sellers will now um, come to terms with the, the ability to trade in their home. Get your ducks in a row. Uh, that way you're ready to jump when things um, here change because it's probably going to happen sooner than later. Any questions, reach out to us anytime. We love hearing from you. Thanks, everybody. See ya.